All right, we're back for knee. All right, AP knee, central ray, half inch below the apex. Do you know which end is the apex? All right, make sure you remember that. Calipers. Calipers may be mentioned with knee, um, with AP knee imaging. Why? Because in textbook, you are supposed to angle if it's within a certain centimeter. So if you look at this picture down here, 19 to 24 is straight on. 18 and lower is this sort of pancake butt here. They don't have much butt. You're going to angle down. And then the 25 and up, you're going to angle up. So 25 and up, angle up. If they have a if they have a big butt, it's going to raise their pelvis higher than their lower extremity. So we're going to have to find a way to remember um, if they're in high school, 18 and under, you are going to angle down. If they're 25 and up, so say, I don't know, I don't have a good one. Out of college? Well, I was not out of college at 25. I was a five-year planner. Um, <laughs> but we'll say, we'll say in general, um, so 25, out of college, you're angling five up. I don't know. Somebody needs to come up with a fun one. Lateral. Remember that five to seven degrees cephalic angle, your seven up soda? So you're angling up. Why are we angling up? The medial condyle is always lower. You gotta get around that medial condyle. 20 to 30 degree knee uh, flexion of the knee. Don't flex too much. Central ray. Um, when we, why would you do a lateral patella? You're looking for transverse fractures. You're gonna need to go through anatomy. One thing I want you to make sure you know where it is, is the adductor tubercle. Make sure you know where that anatomy is on the lateral knee. Hint, hint, wink, wink, all right? Lateral knee rotation. I'm gonna move my little face here out of the way. Can you tell when you're over-rotated or under-rotated by looking at the image? And for me, it's the relationship of the fibula to the tibia. So if the fibula is pushed back too far, you are over-rotated. So if this is a recumbent knee on the table, they're in lateral position. I know this says cross table, but go with me here. The patient's on their side, their unaffected leg is up and over in the front, and the fibula is pushed too far back. In my head, that means the knee, the patella, is rotated too far towards the table. I'm over rotating towards the table. I need to check their hips and rock them back. I need to raise that patella up off the table. When the fibula is hiding underneath the tibia, like this one is here, it's the opposite, is under rotation. The knee is not close enough to the table. The knee is away from the table. The patella is kind of picking up away from the table. You want to take those hips and rock them towards the table. They mentioned this adductor tubercle being posterior. And on this image here, if you swoop down the femur, it does this little indent here, rounds around the back. This is the adductor tubercle. That is what they're talking about um, being posterior. So when you see this ridge posterior, it's under rotated. I Go look here. I believe textbook, you're supposed to look here. All right, so adductor tubercle, know where it is. Over here, it's in the front, it's anterior. Okay, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see, knee tunnel views. Can you know, do you know the difference of the tunnel views? We don't do them a lot. Uh, what's the main focus of the tunnel view? Well, it looks like a little tunnel here. We're looking at the fossa here. What's the difference between the Homblad and the Camp Coventry? I remember it as the Camp Coventry, the C, the calf is up. So her calf is raised up for the Camp Coventry. So C's Camp Coventry calf up. 
Um, the Homblad is the one where they're kneeling and their hamstring is up. So H Homblad hamstring up, if that works for you. The trauma version is down here at the bottom. The AP actually does the Beauclair method. So um, I don't have a fun one, but <laughs> if you can remember those two are C and H, I'm hoping you can remember the other one is B. So the AP axial, maybe the letter B is closest to A in the alphabet, something like that. Why would you do it AP? Again, any adaptation is usually a trauma situation or geriatric situation, if you've picked up on that. Patella views. Can you identify your patella views? Do you know the, the um, difference between the merchant? The merchant is your bilateral. It shows you both patellas. The patient is supine with a 45 degree bend. It requires this um, equipment here that you probably don't have unless you're maybe at an orthopedic office. I know I have never had that one. The Hostin is this one where they're prone with a 55 degree angle. Setagas is usually what we use. We use the reverse version. Instead of prone, they're sitting up holding that board with their bent knee. Um, but the Setagas is the 90. So if you remember that, I remember an order, um, Merchants Bilateral, and it's 45, so I sort of separate that one out. And then Hostin and Setagast. I just remember Setagast as the letter S is further in the alphabet, so I remember that's the 90 degree bend. And that's one we use, so that's how I remember it. If a picture pops up on your screen, can you look at that and tell me which one of these are um, tunnel views or which one is patella views. Look at the central ray. Look at where the light is going. Is, are these the same positions? Almost identical, right? Look at where the central beam is coming in versus where this central beam is coming in. Also, if they're showing you cassette placement, that is helpful as well, right? These are obviously patellas. Setagast, Hostin here, and then this is one of your tunnel views. Which part of the leg is up? Is it the calf or is it the hamstring? This one, the calf is up, so that's the Camp Coventry. Would you be able to pick those up? Femur, what are they gonna ask you about femur? Um, there's not much to femur. The AP femur, um, just like AP hip, that rotation in, putting the femoral neck in true AP position. Um, when would you ad make an adaptation to your protocol for femur trauma situation? You might have to do a shoot through um, or fractures. So review fractures um, terminology for femur, but I wouldn't think there's too, too much about femur. There's not much going on there. Long bone measurement. So we went over this, um, the leg length study using that Bell Thompson ruler. So we'll pay attention to these, this terminology, the ortho um, rankinography, leg length, Bell Thompson ruler, scanogram. You can do the upper extremity as well. So it's not just for legs. It is technically a long bone measurement. So it can be arm or leg. Make sure you don't photo time. Um, it's usually for a, a length discrepancy, so they're going to measure out preventing patient motion is essential in between images because you don't want them moving on that ruler at all in between images. So just watch for those type of questions or, and I think that's essentially all that they would ask with the long bones.